Lawyers for former Baltimore police officers Daniel Herschel and Marcus Taylor made their appeals today before a panel of judges in Virginia. WJZ has obtained a series of letters Herschel wrote over the past six months. The officers were part of the city's now disgraced gun trace task force. WJZ investigator Mike Kelvin is live in Park Heights with more on the appeal. Mike. Vic, this is where one of the arrests happened with the Gun Trace Task Force. It's been now two and a half years since the officers themselves were taken into custody, and their lawyers made arguments before the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals today. But Daniel Herschel has gone beyond that in letters he's written to a state commission. I'm with uh, Detective Graham here. Convicted former Baltimore Police Detective Daniel Herschel admits he had a reputation on the street as an aggressive officer. But in a series of 13 letters he wrote from behind bars to the Maryland Commission to Restore Trust in Policing, he declares, I am fully innocent, have nothing to hide, and consider my input the morally and ethically right thing to do. He says he wants people to understand the whole story of what happened with the GTTF. It is a lack of effective supervision. It was before that same commission this week that Baltimore's police commissioner admitted that after more than two years, the department had not started a promised internal review of the scandal. We have not done a deep dive to make the assessment of what happened with these individuals that was missed. Herschel and fellow former detective Marcus Taylor were the only indicted gun trace task force officers to fight the charges in court. Both got 18 year prison sentences for robbery, conspiracy, and racketeering. Prosecutors say they stole money and drugs, submitted false reports, and committed overtime fraud. Herschel wrote, the prosecutor capitalized on the overtime system being poorly administered, which he knew was totally mismanaged, and used the situation to twist my compensation reward as being fraudulent. He contends it was no secret to the police union and police brass that overtime was given in exchange for getting guns off the streets. Uh, you can see the cocaine up in the visor. Herschel also claims he was a, quote, good cop working with bad cops. When I became a cop, I'd stop somebody, the guy's going to bribe me. And compared himself to Frank Serpico, a former New York City police detective who exposed widespread corruption in the department in the 1970s. Herschel said he reported his suspicions about two of his co-defendants, Mamadou Gondo and Jamel Rayam, to his supervisor, Sergeant Thomas Allers, who told him they were not doing anything illegal and I had nothing to worry about. Allers was also convicted and is currently serving a 15-year prison sentence. Herschel is now serving his time at a federal prison in the Midwest. And any appeal is going to be an uphill battle. Herschel says he's going to continue writing these letters so more of his side of the story comes out. Live in Park Heights, Mike Helgren, WJZ.